That was fun. What's up? Even when the offense goes through those stretches where it struggles, how comforting is it to know that at any time you can get this kind of uprising? I don't want comforting. It's about, you know, making guys pay for their mistakes. You know, Graveman's been pitching well this year until today. And, you know, we got down quick 3 nothing, Looked like another one of those that things were going to be kind of falling for him. But I thought the relay play, what a great pick at home plate by Matt. Go, tried to do that in full gear with a catcher's mitt. Good quick relay from, from Joy. He made, I think, four or five contributions defensively. Yeah, I take out of stuff like there's a throw that uh, I think it was first and second tag up that Trum threw that Manny barely caught. It was an errant throw getting ready to go. And if you look, Joey was standing there. You know, we talk, Kirby talks all the time to him about anticipating angles of ensuing throws. And that's the thing I take out. You look over there and see that the guys are where they're supposed to be. Jonathan made a great tag on a double play that ended up being that kind of goes, could go unnoticed. You know, Ryan had some good at bats, but uh, those are things that comfort me. The other stuff kind of comes and goes. Those are things that allow you to be consistent. There are a lot of times, seemingly, when Tillman has a rough first inning and then he and then he settles down. What Tillman, does he, yeah. yeah. What, does, what does he do? You know, he, I was kidding, Wally. He always does it to me in the inning. You know, he gets to 100 in his, his best inning. Yeah. You know, and then. Uh, and we were trying to to get go hitter to hitter with him after that. I kind of liked him versus Burns, because you could tell Burns wasn't real comfortable with the weight. With Tillman, he wasn't seeing him good, and you know, it seems like every time you show a little confidence, not confidence, but you just you, you remind yourself about Chris that you get a, you get uh, something back in return for it. So he's easy to trust. You know, he gets frustrated by it, but he doesn't sit around there and. You know, he gave up three, and then, you know, offense jumped right back into it. It's a big home run by Manny, the first one. That's the one kind of, because, you know, you couldn't ask, with all the weather and all the stuff that we've played in through the season so far, you couldn't have dialed up a more perfect day to play baseball. And I know coming out for the game, I was hoping, you know, the organization did a great job with the Mother's Day thing today out on the field. That was fun to watch. I went out and watched some of it. You just really want to play a good game, an entertaining game that you win on a day like today because you don't get many opportunities where you got, you know, full house and the weather's letter perfect after. It's kind of a Baltimore coming out after the winter and the weather we've had in April that you kind of get to say, okay, this is, and it reminds us why we do what we do and why a lot of people in there work nine to five out in the stands, do what they do so they can come out and enjoy, you know, a game like today. And that's what I took out of it. He's coming off a career year last year, but does it seem like he's almost taking things to another level? Um, I'll let you make that. Is it analogy? There's another word for it, but that comparison, but so far he has. He's in a pretty good place. I, I, I like the calmness of the last at bat. You know, he uh, doesn't get out, out of himself much. And uh, I think he's come to grips with the respect that they have for him. You know, it's no secret, and he's kind of using it in his favor. The balls were pink stitched today. You know, seemed to be a lot. They were complaining. A lot of the pitchers were talking about how slick they were. Stitched pretty tight there. Most mothers are stitched pretty tight. <laughs> But it, they had, uh, they were, they were pretty slick. I, this is one of those days when it's windy and a little cool, that the balls are slick. And it's another day why they, they've been talking a lot about having a pitcher's rag, something they can grip. Been a good day for it today. We sent a bunch of them down to the bullpen about the second, third inning because, just in case they were a little different. I'm not saying they were, but I know they were stitched different. Hope we use them again in Minnesota. What, what do you see with Jonathan? Just that he's just the ebb and flow. He just seems to have fallen into a little more of a groove. Yeah, you know, John. I was thinking. About, I looked out there and he's hitting 250, and it's like it. it not that it comes from nowhere. He just, you know, he's kind of graduating some too, little by little. You know, and uh, 
I'm just pr I'm proud of him. You know, I was I started doing a thing with before the game. You know, everybody's kind of let's go do a little different. They all creatures of habit. And I've always say something to him like, "Hey, do some let's do something smart today." And he is. He uh, when he you see him hit that ball hard in the right center field. That's what he was doing in the spring and has done some this year. And uh, he's a strong young man. There's certain guys that the ball makes a little different noise off the bat when they click it. JJ has that when he clicks the ball. We were talking about Alvarez going the other way quite a bit this season, but still impressive when he gets a hold of one where, that where'd way. That, where'd that end up? <clears throat> one hopped up, warehouse. Yeah, that was a big old boy home run. That, 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 that one. That was kind of a reminder, you know, I can do that too. Buck, how soon upon seeing Manny Machado play did you say this guy is going to be something special? Nobody's that smart. I know his mom and down there would tell you otherwise. I mean, think about it. His mother's sitting here today. I mean, that's you can't draw this stuff up. You can't, you know, this is stuff. I don't want to get talking about movies and stuff, but, you know, it's you take that out of games like this. You know, that, I, was, I was telling myself in the dugout, you don't, you don't get a chance to see this many things one day. So felt lucky, but he, uh, you don't know. You don't know how the the good fortune, they will handle it. You know, you don't know, you know, you're, you're the mercies of the mothers and fathers of the world, especially the mothers today, because that's really what's going to allow them to, you know, it's one thing to have some success and have the ability to have success, and then how do you handle it, you know? He's, I've been real proud of him, especially since the first day of spring training. He's very focused and very driven. And when I hear him talk about wanting to be as good a teammate as he can be, those are the type of things. And, and you know, certainly the peers around him help too. And he and John are good for each other. But for a week into May, and you've had one one game in which he had five homers. This one was six. Uh, and I just sort of playing off what Rock asked, does that sort of show the potential of this lineup in which... Yeah, on a given today, night. You know, it's like our guys, you, know, they don't, they, you don't panic when you get behind sometime. I think it, it helps the pitchers, too. We're going to have some games, which we already have, where you got to win one nothing, 2-1. You know, it's going to be a long, challenging season. You know, we're, we're in for a, you know, long ride together. I think our guys all know that maturely, maturely speaking. And, you know, you try not to get too high or low, but, you know, days like this, you, you do need to kind of say that, that, was, that, was, that was fun, that was fun to be a part of. And then you walk out the door and get on a plane and head to three days of rain in Minnesota. It's only 50% tomorrow, then 90 and 100. So maybe we won't have to figure who's pitching Wednesday. <coughs> Good.